hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we have a 16 ounce tumbler i have it on the turner we are going to make a super mario brother cup all right let's get this started all right so we're going to do this a little different than we normally do we're going to take our a and b epoxy we're going to mix them thoroughly together and we're going to be adding some acrylic paint so here we have a blue, green, and a navy blue. And once our epoxy is all mixed, we're gonna split it up in three, and then we're gonna add um, just a little bit of each color in the epoxy. Now that we've mixed our um, the green the blue and the light blue we've mixed them really well in our epoxy we're going to go ahead and we're going to start on the bottom and we're going to go ahead and apply it to um, the tumbler so you're going to do an even amount you're going to make sure you spread evenly um, covering the area so basically this is going to be like the grass so you're gonna make sure that you're fully covering all of the white. We don't wanna see any white. So make sure you get the bottom of your cup. Um, I'm gonna come up the cup just a little bit because the, the blue is gonna go on the top. So we're gonna have them meeting in the middle.
So we've added the blue, the green. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our very light blue and we're going to drip it. It doesn't matter how you do it. Um, we're gonna drip it on the dark blue. And basically this is gonna make uh, clouds or lighter areas. And um, I have quite a bit in this cup, so I'm not gonna probably use it all, but um, we're just going to lay it on there randomly. There's no wrong way of doing this. Just make sure you don't cover all of the dark blue. So I'm going to go ahead and take the heat gun and I'm going to do it very lightly. Um, I have it on low temp because I just want it to move the acrylic paint around a little bit. Um, as time goes, everything will start shifting as the, the acrylic is uh, warming up. So basically, I'm just running it over there. You can see everything starting to move. It's starting to take its uh, place. Um, I think I'm pretty happy with the way it's turning out. And then I do have a little bit of dark blue, so you can always go back and add more if you feel like you have too much of the light blue in there. That's the good part of not using all your acrylic is that you can go back and do a little touch up. So that's what I did here is I just went ahead and start adding a little bit more of the dark blue in the places where I had a lot of light blue. So you're going to let it um, kind of just turn on the turner, um, just checking to make sure, you know, it's turning out the way you're wanting it. Um, I wanted a lot of the light blue, but I just didn't, I wanted it kind of like balanced out. So um, I went ahead and just used all the little bit of dark blue that I had and put it in certain spots. And then what we did was just let it turn on the turner overnight. Um, and then we start on our next uh, stage of the cup will be the placing of uh, the decals, which um, I will explain to you uh, how I did that. So here I'm just taking it, making sure that the bottom is covered good. Always make sure that your edges are good. Um, I wanna use every bit of the acrylic that I had.
guys. So I wanted to show you. Um, so I printed these on sticker paper. And normally I would use the Cricut to cut them out, but I'm doing them by hand. Um, you don't have to do that. You can use your Cricut. But I wanted to show you. Um, the cup is really small, so the pieces are very small. But these are all sticker. So these will actually stick right to the cup. But what I did was is I printed these out and then I used uh, my Rust-Noleum Clear and I sprayed these three times and let them dry really good and let them dry overnight. And this morning while I'm having my coffee, I am cutting them out and we're gonna put them on the cup and then we will epoxy them and then our cup will be ready to go to be shipped out. So I just wanted to give you guys uh, an idea of how I do these. <clears throat> you can do actual water slide. You can do stickers or you can do the white water slide. Um, I prefer just to do stickers. It's easier. I'm not, you know, using up all my water slides. And this has worked for me. So, um, you know, maybe this will help someone else uh, budget a little bit better when it comes to their, um, their materials. And it really locks in the color. If you guys look, the color is very detailed. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting these out. And then we're going to place them on the cup how we want them. All right, so it's all dry. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start putting on our decals. Look how pretty that's gonna look. It's gonna stand out like a lot. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some of these off cam. So remember these are stickers, so I'm just gonna peel the backs off and then put them exactly where I need everything to go. All right, so I went ahead and I put all of these on. Um, it was easier just to do it off cam because the pieces are so tiny. Now, if this was a bigger cup, it would be way easier. So let me go ahead and show you guys. Let me do a little turn. Turning out really nice. So I've done uh, 30 ounce cups, which are so much easier to do because then you can get bigger pieces. But right now I'm just going and adding the clouds. The clouds are pretty much my last uh, thing to do other than the epoxy. So what I did was, cause I printed them out and remember I sprayed. So I just take my little tool here and open up like taking the back off of it. It's very tiny. See like that. All right, and then I stick it on this so that I can pinpoint exactly where I need it. So let's see, I think we need some clouds like about right here. So I have like three more small ones. So this is a 16 ounce cup. So I had to print everything smaller than expected. <laughs> Let's put it that way. All right, so, um, Let me do one about right here since. So basically you're just gonna figure out like where you want everything. Um, 
I tried to, because the cup is small, I tried to get everything exactly like the game in place, but it is very complicated when it's a small uh, project here. All right, let's do a cloud up underneath. Oh, and you don't want to put it upside down. And they stick on there really good. So when I put the epoxy, they won't come off. And I didn't have to use my water slide. The colors are vibrant. They're sealed. They won't leak. You know, whenever I put my epoxy, they won't run or anything like that because I put sealer on it. So I'm trying to get the back off of this last off of this last little cloud come on man they're so tiny i prefer doing bigger cups when it comes to something like this all right so this is our last one so we're going to look really really good and make sure oh, see there's a gap right here so we're going to put this one right in the center of all this All right, and then just make sure everything is pressed down really good. And then we will add our epoxy. So they didn't want a name or anything. So if they wanted a name, I would just put it on the bottom. And why is there glitter on it? Okay, so that's how it turned out. So I went ahead and I applied the epoxy off cam and um, I'm going to go ahead and add, uh, put my heat torch on it, make sure that it's uh, all the bubbles are off of it. Remember your epoxy is self leveling. So once you've put your torch on it, it's going to uh, level off basically exactly how it's supposed to. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I want to say welcome to all of our new subscribers and uh, make sure that you guys like, subscribe, and share this video. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.